guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are all well. If you're new here, my name is Abby and I am attempting to be good at this YouTube thing. So today I wanted to do a swatch video and show you some new lip products that you can get from Boots and Superdrug that I am quite excited by and I think that you guys are gonna like. I haven't really heard many people talking about them so I wanted to put my input across because I really like them and I think that you guys are going to like them too. So if you're into lip kits and you wanna see a review on some new-ish ones that are on the market, the lip kit in question are these ones. So these are the L'Oreal Cheryl lip kits that she released I think late last month. So they've been out for quite a while now but I really wanted to show you them. I really wanted to do a swatch on the lips, talk about them because I think that they're quite good and I wanted to tell you about that. So she released three. I believe these are limited edition, but I got these last week and they're still available. I think they're going to be available for quite a while, especially as we're near Christmas. And what I really, really like about these kits is that even with only three shades in her collection, she's kind of targeted everything almost. So you've got a variation of a new tier, which is called Paint It Peach. You've got a classic red, which is always good in the collection, which is Paint It Burgundy. And then you've got something a little bit different, and this is Paint It Greige. I think I've said that right. So what I'm going to do is show you all three lip kits. I'm going to apply them, I'm going to swatch them, all that fun stuff. Show you how they look on the lips and then tell you about them. Basically that's what I'm going to do. And I've just realised if I'm going to do this I'm going to need a makeup wipe to remove them and I haven't got one. So let me tell you about the lip kits itself, what comes with them, about them. So as you can see this is how they are packaged. I personally really like the packaging. I think it's quite cool. I like that you've got the lip swatches there. And then on the back you've got a picture of the product inside and then on the top you've got the name and then the colour of the lip kit and how it's going to look. So obviously this comes with a lip liner which is the L'Oreal Infallible Lip Liner and also of course a matte lip which is the Infallible Matte lip yeah i think this is a really pretty color i was really drawn to this because i really wanted to try kylie jenner's peach lip kit i don't know what it's called but it is a peach lip kit and i really wanted to get it but custom charges long waiting times and all of that have just put me off so when i saw that cheryl had bought one out i was really excited because it's got everything you need in it to create a lovely lip and it's on the drugstore if you're in the uk you can pop straight into boot go to the l'oreal stand and they're here and these are priced at nine pounds which I think is really good. Normally lipsticks in the drugstore are around the £7 mark so I like it. It's obviously limited edition, it's obviously got Cheryl's, you know, it's Cheryl's lip kit so there's going to be a little bit of a up price with that but I think £9 is really really good and what's best is that if you order with Boots at the moment, so if you're watching this video when it comes out, they're currently doing three for two on these so you can get all three for the price of two which is amazing and a really good way to get all three and try them. I also think that if you do buy all three, these are going to make, or even if you just buy one, they're gonna make really lovely Christmas gifts for any kind of makeup lover. If you're a Cheryl fan and you like makeup, you're gonna love these. And if you just like lip kits, you're gonna love them as well. If packaging's nice enough for it to be a gift, I think. I'm gonna show you the inside now. But obviously they're all the same across all three. So here we go. This is what the products look like. We've got the lip liner with just nice sleek black packaging and then the colour of the lipstick on top. And then I really love the packaging of these. It's a little bit different than your standard liquid lipstick. It's fun. It's meant to obviously, it's called lip paint. It's meant to look like a little paint thing, whatever you call it not a paint pot, a paint thing, I don't know. <laughs> but that's what it's meant to look like. Packaging wise, it's a big tip from, tick even from me. Not a big tip, it's a tick. <laughs> My first complaint, I don't know if it's a complaint, it's just a little bit of a comment that I noticed, is that the product is a lot darker than the pictures on the front. And obviously this is what you see. Obviously if you're in Boots or Superdrug, I assume that you can swatch them. But if you can't swatch them, or if you are online, you're gonna be going off of this picture and, and it's the same for all three. I find the products inside of this are quite a little bit darker than on here. It would have been nice, I think, to have a more of a legit, picture on the back is the same with the colour on top. This is peach and this is a little bit more of a nude which I don't mind as such especially as well because peach 
isn't always flattering on paler skin tones it can wash people out so for me it works a little bit better that it is a nude it's still got those peach tones in there but it is darker than what the packaging shows so now i'm going to apply this show you what it looks like on tell you about the texture tell you how it applies all the fun stuff that you want to know nothing on my lips i don't have any lip balm or anything on there So there is the lip liner. First impressions on the lip liner. Now bearing in mind I have worn this particular kit quite a few times. I love it. It's really, really creamy, but not so creamy that you like are pushing it down. I don't know if you can sharpen this. I don't know if you can pick it up. To me, it's plastic, so it doesn't look like you can sharpen it or get any more product. I don't know, I could be wrong, but you can't twist the bottom, you can't press it up. That's disappointing because this, I don't think, will last crazy long. It would be nice to have a lip liner that you can sharpen and keep using as well because these are limited editions. I'm wondering if you can get these individual shades in the collection. I assume you can't because they're Cheryl's unique shades. So that's a, it's a tiny bit disappointing. I know that, for instance, MAC will release something limited edition and then sometimes release it again. So they might end up putting these in the permanent line, whether that's under Cheryl's packaging or not. Hopefully they will, just so if you do spend £9 on the lip kit, you can go ahead and buy the lip liner again. So yeah, that's a bit of a shame, but it's certainly not the worst thing ever. And with this kind of lip liner anyway, I'm sure you're going to be able to get quite a few dupes. A really, really nice colour, definitely darker than on the box, but it applied really, really nicely. So now on to the liquid lip stick so this is how it comes out and there we go that is the finished lip so impressions on the lipstick I just love this I think matte lipstick can put people off of trying it they have these horrible images of you know really dry flaky lips and I will admit that I have products in my collection that are like that and I almost feel like the matte claim is slightly misleading on this it is matte I do think it has a matte finish it's certainly not glossy but there is a slight sheen which I don't mind I actually think that is a good thing what I love about this is that it's almost velvet I would describe this as like a velvet lip it's almost satiny when you apply it this almost feels like a mousse which is really really nice what I have noticed because like I said I've worn this lip kit a few times now is that it lasts so even though it never dries a hundred percent completely matte it doesn't really transfer it doesn't really disappear which is what I really like just because you still have it feeling quite comfortable throughout the day but you can go out and have a drink perhaps have something to eat and it will still be there and I find that after a few hours it starts to fade evenly it means that you can apply it and just get on with your day it is really nice it's really really soft it's really comfortable it almost feels hydrating which is amazing like I said as for the color I do like the color it is more nude than peach if I kind of hold that up i think you can see that this is a little bit darker now that is paint it peach so the next lip kit that i'm going to be showing you is the paint it grey. it looks like a beautiful purple almost lilac but it's got a little bit of those cool tones in there which i really really like i know that this color isn't going to be for everyone it is quite a little bit daring but i think you'll see that when it's on the lips it is actually really really flattering and like i said in the previous clip i love that she's brought out something a little bit different we don't always see colors like this on the drugstore so again like the painted peach straight away you can see that this is a lot more gray than it is purple and i still really really like this color i wore this the other day and i actually put a picture of it on instagram and i said that it was a cheryl lip kit and i got a few people like wow that's actually really nice And we're done. What I really, really like is even though this is such a different color from this, the formula of everything is staying the same. That is the Paint It Grige. I will say with this one, I've only worn this one once before, like when I went out the other day, and I had the same problem this time, is that if you don't get enough product on your applicator, it does apply a little bit sheer but don't be alarmed by that because you can layer over it and it's not a problem it's not quite the same color but i think it's gorgeous i actually really really like this shade and i didn't think it would be my favorite but i think it is i think that this is going to look beautiful on so many people again it's another flattering shade cheryl's done so well at getting shades that are going to flatter so many skin tones especially with only three shades in the collection so the last in power and time with this was very similar to the paint it 
peach. It lasted a really good few hours with me and I wore this when we went shopping. We had breakfast and we had a Costa, I had a hot chocolate with cream and I remember saying to my mum, because I couldn't see it at the time, we were walking around, I was like, oh, how's my lipstick looking? And she went, yeah, it's still there, it's amazing. It didn't look patchy at all, so I love the formula of these. Okay, so now we are on to the last of the three lip kits, which is Paint It Burgundy. Oh, you guys know that I couldn't resist it. I love shades like this in autumn. This is the only one I haven't tried, so today is like the actual first impression of this lip kit. I love it. I really like this shade. And it's got a little bit of brown in there, which I quite like. Would I say this is more brown than red? I think so. I like that it's a little bit more brown, purely because the burgundies I have in my collection are more red. So this offers something different, which I really, really like. The texture and formula was exactly the same as the other two, so very creamy. But there we go, guys. That was my thoughts on the L'Oreal and Cheryl lip kits. I love them. They're so good. I'm surprised at how creamy they are but they still got this really intense color they're so affordable love the packaging and you can if you're in the uk you can really easily buy them on the drugstore i really really hope that you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did i will see you guys next week Mwah. bye